So look, bro. I decided I'm not gonna post those videos because that shit it kind of like threw my it threw it threw me off. It threw me off real bad. But today we're gonna be reacting to Tom McDonald. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of videos today because why not? I'm probably just gonna sit here and record and record and record and record and record. And record. I ain't got shit else to do. I still am quarantining because I have COVID right now. I don't know how the hell that happened, but it happened. But we're going to be reacting to No Lives Matter. I'm really upset at the fact that I recorded a 20-something minute long video. And it was on Fake Woke, if I'm not mistaken. Bro, that was a really, really in-depth, like conversation i was having with you guys and y'all didn't even get to hear it because my mic wasn't on it's on today I'm, I'm looking at it mike is moving so it's picking up something but um yeah so we're gonna be reacting to no lives matter today <sighs> um i'm probably gonna go through i'm gonna react to all the people that i was reacting to yesterday it was a couple of people and then I'm going to go and just go through and find some new... I'm going to try to find some new artists. But if I can't find a new artist, then I'll stack up and try to catch up with some of the old comments. Um, but yeah. Hopefully, I already know he's not going to let me down. Tom never let me down. I ain't going to lie. That fake woke had me shook. I was like, yeah, he, he talking. And I started to explain some stuff. I'm so upset that I didn't have like backup audio or something. Um... Once I get close, if it get blurry, it's because I'm literally having a scoot up. This is a very zoomed in lens, so I have to be like really far back. So I have to reach. But anyway, without further ado, let's see what Tom talking about in this No Lives Matter. And it's crazy that I'm doing this because in Fake Woke, I was talking about Black Lives Matter movement. I wish I had heard because it's, it's, I know for a fact it would have been what y'all had thought. So um, hopefully I can speak about it again in this. And uh, we can go from there. Someone said something about me turning on captions. I don't know if YouTube has an automatic thing for that. If so, I'm going to start turning it on. But I talk a lot. And if I was to go back and try to type in all the words I said throughout the whole video, y'all probably wouldn't get these videos to the next year. I talk a lot. But let's go ahead and... He got on... What, who is this? Hey, Gucci? Please forgive me. I don't know. I don't do designer stuff. So, Gucci, Gucci. That's definitely Gucci. Hold on. Let me turn it up because last time y'all can hear. Even rap. Hold on. Hip hop diet is full of guys who cannot even rap. Facts. Media dividing us by colors, white or black. Facts. If you believe in Jesus, these days Christians get attacked. Facts. If you don't hate police, then everybody thinks you're whack. And everything's so connected. Black Lives Matter got so aggressive. White folks who agree can't support the message. Both sides go to war because they don't respect it. Our social climate from the global tension turned to total violence and a whole depression. We could unify and then I'll go against them, but we let them divide us with votes and elections. Hey, the music we bump. All about shooting guns and doing drugs. Hey, whoa. The things that we want are promoted subliminally through the songs like You need a fast car. You need designer clothes. You need a rap star to tell you to start popping pills, hit the blunt, and go live at the club to your bro. It's all controlled by the elites. Put fake news all over our screens. Convincing the right to go fight with the left and distract from the fact it's each other we need. Uh, divided by race and religion. So I'm catching everything he's saying. If I don't stop and talk about it, don't think I missed it. I'm catching on. Um... I do want to talk about this black lives thing. I'm glad he said something. So look, pretty much a summary of what I said, because it was a 20 something minute long video. And I think the song he did was only like four minutes, if that. Listen, as far as supporting black lives matter, I was pretty much saying for stuff to actually make a difference, I'll support. But what did black lives matter movement actually do for anybody? Y'all can attack me all y'all want in the comments, but truthfully speaking, black people, white people, Mexican people, Asian people, whatever, what did that do for anybody? If I'm wrong, comment down below and let me know what actually was done behind the Black Lives Matter movement. But in my opinion, unless it's something that's peaceful and it's actually going to make a change, I'm not standing behind it. I mean, y'all can say what y'all want about me, but like, 
as a young black man myself, I just, well, I, I literally looked out the window, I was like, shit, it look like people still going to work doing the same shit to me. You feel me? Everybody want to scream Black Lives Matter, do this, do this, come together, but they're still separating because you're separating the races. You feel me? If you saying Black Lives Matter over humans, you feel me? Because it's in my opinion, bro, we are human. I don't give a fuck about black, white, Mexican, Asian, Jap I don't care about none of that. We are human. So it's like to say Black Lives Matter and say, try to say that as a way to bring unity, it don't make sense to me. It's like a contradictory thing. If y'all understand, y'all understand. But like, it's just like, how can we try to say we all need to come together as one, but we're separating as in, like how they have blue collar or police matter or whatever the case may be. Like all it is is a separation thing, bro. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully that makes sense. But it's like, yeah, so it's, I'm not with the whole Black Lives Matter shit. I never was. Y'all could be mad. Y'all could be upset. But I'm just being honest. That shit didn't do shit for me. That shit didn't change. People still out here doing the same old shit. I don't even hear about Black Lives Matter no more. Up until something fucked up happens. I know you can relate to that. I know you can agree to that. Y'all don't hear shit about Black Lives. Like right now, if you was to go through and scroll through and try to find something about Black Lives Matter right now, it probably won't be shit because nothing fucked up happened yet. But as soon as something fucked up happened to a young black man or a black man or old black, whatever, Black Lives Matter gonna pop up again. That's just how the media want the shit to be. Like, it don't even gotta be nothing crazy. Somebody gonna bring something old up and it's gonna be like, oh, this is crazy, Black Lives Matter, woo, woo, woo. Because a lot of these stories that be brought up be from years before, if people don't even notice. I understand it's an issue, but yeah, I, I did not support that. And I mean, it's just... You have to start thinking for yourself and using your own brain to understand like, hey, this shit really not doing shit for us. We just saying Black Lives Matter, throwing our hands up, marching, and then go back to doing the same shit the very next day. Rioting and fucking up people's business did not do shit for nobody, but cause those business owners more money that they probably did not have. Like, the shit is fucked up. But, you know, the society, media, government, whatever, they gonna push out negative shit Everybody gonna be afraid of black people because of they're showing this person did that and this happened after that. Like it's bro, please start using y'all brain, please. If y'all was to see me out in public, if y'all didn't know I did YouTube videos, I'm six one, almost two hundred, but I'm like one ninety something. I got tattoos, and I probably dress a certain way to people, so it's like. I will probably get stereotyped. I got stereotyped by a black man at a job interview one time. He saw my tattoos. It's like, are those gang related tattoos or what gang are you in? I'm like, bro, what you talking about? He was like, your tattoos. I'm like, this has nothing to do with a gang, bro. Like, what are you saying? like roses and Japanese? Like, I don't understand where I got koi fish, koi fish, a rose that my little sister drew. And I'm getting stereotyped by a, a older black man who is, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, bro. Like, it be your own people for real, for real. Like, <laughs> for real. Segregated in the teams, uh, you're a white supremacist. If you're not, I guess you Antifa. Screaming from the rooftops, beat down better. Turn us on each other now, no lives matter. If we do what the news what wants, like? blood gon' splatter. Turn us on each other till no lives matter. Freedom's dead if you have an opinion, take it back. People hate the president, if you don't, then you trash. Indoctrinate the nation using news and mainstream rap. The government abuses us, it's all part of the plan. And it's so confusing. Black Lives Matter is a valuable movement, but all lives matter ain't racist or stupid. It's non-black humans who don't feel included. All colors fall under laws to govern the whole country, and we all suffer. We're all broke and nobody recovers until- Hey, yo! I'm sorry, he just said, bro, I, that's low-key what I was just saying, bro. It's cool if it had made a difference. You feel me? I don't see shit different since any black lot, bro. I feel like that movement, like you said, it could have been something really good. But it made other people that wasn't a part of, you know, the community or whatever the case may be. Like, it made them feel as if they was left out. Like, there are people out there, bro. I hate when black people try to say all white people are racist, all white people do this, and they try to put what happened on other... Like, people are not like that. You feel me? So it's like... To have a Black Lives Matter movement go on 
and then have people that actually love black people to death, don't don't say no hatred stuff, can't stand racist people, you know what I'm saying? And like genuinely just good hearted people. I get that part, you feel me? Because now it's like, okay, I'm not the one who did nothing wrong, but now I feel like I'm put in a, 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 a category because I'm white, you feel me? So now it's like, we trying to do something peaceful and good, but now the people that actually support us, they feel some type of way because it's not like, okay, now we still being separated. Hopefully this shit making sense, bro. Tom, oh my God. You don't feel included. All colors fall under, laws to govern the whole country and we all suffer. Right. We're all broke and nobody recovers until we accept that we're all brothers. Hey, right. music we make, all about big booties and getting paid. Hey, hey. whoa. We watch the news and it fills up our brains with violence and riots and race. Like this is a race war. You need to hate more. Get what you came for. You need some songs about Xanax and violence so you can escape more. What a vicious cycle we can break away from. They control the culture. They control the paper. They're indoctrinating a whole generation till the patriots start to hate the nation. The music we love make us dumb and addicted. The news that we watch is brainwashing the children. The viruses, riots, and racist conditions ain't problems. They're symptoms of life in the system. Screaming from the roof. Stop playing with this man, Tom McDonald. Bro. I want to have, I don't like, fuck the numbers. Fuck the fame. I don't care about none of that shit. Tom is a, a, a normal human being just like me who just getting his message out there. I never was the type of person that cared about status. You feel me? I would love to sit and have a genuine conversation with this man. No cameras, no none of that shit. I don't want nobody videotaping shit. I just want to talk. So we, cause I know, I know for a fact, bro, we could, we could relate on so much and us coming together and talking about certain shit. He could put some knowledge on to me and I could put some knowledge on to him based off just who we are as people, how we came up, the shit we experienced. Cause I'm bro, you cannot tell me that there hasn't been a white person who's been racially slurred or, or, or stereotyped, whatever the case may be. Bro, just like that shit happened to us, that's what I be trying to explain, bro. Just because we black, that shit's going to get pushed more because a lot of people feel like we get attacked more than other people. Bro, that shit go on everywhere, bro. Literally. Mexicans, Asians, Chinese, whatever, bro. That shit is every white people. Like, bro, a black person can stereotype a white person and off rip say they racist. Don't even know they go home to a black husband. Don't even know they go home to mixed kids. Don't know they go home. You feel me? Like, they could have been adopted into a black family. Like, you automatically just, it's fucked up, bro. Tops beat down better. Turn us on each other now. No lives matter. If we do what the news wants, blood don't splatter. Turn us on each other till no. The music will make you dumb, the media makes you hate, and they control them both, there ain't no escape. They put the world in a state of chaos, economy crashing and massive layoffs, black against white or it's left versus right, divide and conquer and control is to pay off. Screaming from the rooftops, beat down better, turn us on each other now. to nova bro oh my god i know i say that every time but like bro these videos is tough so look i'm gonna talk to y'all real quick just just to talk about tom himself not even just the messages he provides us with but just as the artist and and what he's been doing can we all agree that not only is he getting some serious messages out but his music is still catchy like you like that you can ride to. I don't care what nobody say. You can. You can bump that and ride to it because it's still like there's a strong message behind it. But the music, the actual music is still something that you can ride to. Like, dang, that's crazy. Bro. Bro. Oh, I also had mentioned. I was like, if y'all want to see my family react to uh, Tom again like we did before, let me know. And I'm going to see if I can get that done. You know, they be, they be fake sometimes. They be fake. You feel me? But... I can ask and see. Um, it probably won't be my older sister or my baby moms or my children. But it'll probably be me, my little sister, my brother, my mama, my grandma, my great grandma. So, I mean, if y'all want to see that, hey, let me know because we can get that done.
I can try to get it done anyway. You feel me? Um, or I can be like, hey, I want you to hear this song, record, and they don't even know. But nah, um, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed that little bit of, you feel me? I'm loving this quality. I'm so excited about everything this year. I'm not going to lie. I just made a decision today that's probably going to like change my entire life, hopefully for better and not for worse. But I got one last decision to make. And that decision is really going to determine if it makes my life better or worse. Hopefully it makes it better. But uh, I see a lot of great stuff happening in the future, especially with this channel and every other channel that I've been working on. Um, I'm just really trying to get myself out there because I've been wanting to do YouTube and be on YouTube for a very long time. That's all I've ever really wanted to do. Just talk, motivate people, uh, share my thoughts on certain things. And this is literally the best way that I know as of right now to do so. So I appreciate all y'all for the support. I appreciate all the subscribers. I appreciate all the likes. I said, I appreciate all that. You feel me? I really do. I don't say it enough, but I really do appreciate y'all. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you made it to this part of the video, um, comment down EOS. I don't know what it means. Y'all probably don't know what it means, but comment down EOS. Let me know you made it to this part. Um, but anyways, be your boy, Dean. I'll catch y'all the next one. Peace.